hello beautiful ones i am back like i never left you guys so today's video is a very special one and a highly requested video so in this video i'll be sharing how i make my toddler's food at home from start to finish please make sure you watch till the end because you don't want to miss any step i took while making this baby food So here in Nigeria, this pap is one of the first winning meal that is introduced to babies in Nigeria. The Igbos calls it akam, Yoruba calls it ogi, and Aosa calls it koko. What do you call it in your language? So once the grains are ready, it is soaked up together to make a baby's nutritious meal. Why corn offers a good source of carbohydrates? Millet and guinea corn offers protein, vitamins, minerals that is very essential to a child's growth. So bear in mind this pap is not taken alone. It can be fortified with baby's formula, soya beans, choco milk, choco drinks, crayfish and many others. This also improves the nutritious value of the baby homemade pap. Believe me, the process of making pap is mind-numbing and very, very tedious. But no labor is too much for the love of our babies. I believe making those at home is more hygienic and it saves more money than buying the ones at the market. So without wasting much of your time, let's go through the process of making this pap. So for the preparation of this pap, I'm using one painter of guinea corn, one painter of corn, three cups of raw granules, and few slices of ginger. Firstly, I'll be working only with the guinea corn and maize, later other can join. So stay tuned to get all the full process. So in a clean pot, I added some water for the washing of the maize and the guinea corn. You might choose to wash them separately, but here I'm washing them together. Remember, if you are bothered about the stones found in those grains, soak them up for three to four days so the grains can soak up the water. So while washing it, it will be more easier for you to fish out the stones that are settled well at the bottom. Once the corn goes into the water, Run a hand through it so the bad ones can float on top. Get a sieve and take them out because you don't need that part in the corn. Same is applicable to the guinea corn. Repeat the same process while washing. So after washing the grains and removing the chaffs, pour all into a bowl, add enough water to cover it, let it soak up for 2-3 to three days, but make sure you change the water daily to prevent the pap from getting a bad smell. The grains here have gone through a ferment process and is the first 24 hours of soaking. Now I will wash and soak for another day.
Now that the grains have soaked up for three consecutive days, with my granite soaked up for two hours, I'll be taking all along for blending. Remember, I'm using raw granites. I have washed them all thoroughly, picked out all the dirt and any traces of stones you can find in the grains. Now it is ready to be processed. You can use your blender if you have a good one and a strong one. The goal is to ground the grains into a pulp so you can get more food out of it so if you don't have a strong blender i do advise you to take it to a commercial grinders but make sure they wash their machine used for grinding so you won't get other stuff stuck into the baby's food After blending at the commercial grinders, I'm home and ready to filter the grains. So in a big bowl, I tie the large cheesecloth tightly around and let it balance firmly on the floor. So this is where the main tax begins. I'll be scooping out some amount of the blended mixture into the surface of cheesecloth while using my hand and a little amount of water. I will start saving to get the starch paste passed through the cheesecloth into the bowl. So I will keep saving until the leftover remaining is chaffed. I will continue doing this gradually until I'm done with the rest of the blended mixture. After I'm done saving the blended grains, I gently untie the cheesecloth from the bowl. Then I twisted it a few times to get the chaff drained out. So here is the chaff derived from the grains. If you know anything I can make with this chaff, Please don't forget to comment that down below. Your idea will be appreciated a lot. So here I got the amount of ginger I needed for this cornstarch. I got it blended then filter the juice into the mixture. You might choose to skip this process. The ginger will take the pulp into another level cause of its scent and taste too. Once the whole mixture is added, I got it mixed very well with a wooden spatula.
So immediately, I will start bagging the whole content into the cheesecloth so the excess water can get their way out. Another reason you need to bag up immediately is to prevent the starch from separating, I mean having two colors. You don't want to spot some part whitish and the other part golden. You want it to have one unique color. After bagging the whole content, I will let it sit on my sink and drip out water overnight. So now that you have seen the full process on how to make a camo, get your ingredients ready and follow this process to make your yummy cornstarch. You can see how shiny the cornstarch looks. It looks very yummy. So go try yours and give us a feedback on how it turns out. If this video is helpful, Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, share and don't forget to turn up your post notifications so you get notified each time I upload new videos. Thank you all for watching and see you guys on my next one. Bye.